Well, here's another important and timely issue for the uh, five minute test. It is, is Israel right? Uh, by that I mean, do we approve of Israel's actions in, in the never-ending conflict with its Palestinian neighbors? Almost no one is indifferent on this one. Uh, the passions run high. Now let's take a look at both sides. By the way, you'll find probably some of these arguments on both sides unsettling and even a bit repugnant, but that's the nature of this, of this issue. Okay, what about those who say, yes, uh, Israel is right? Well, they would say, if Hamas announced it was giving up its weapons, laying down its weapons, the conflict would cease. If Israel did the same, there would be genocide. That, that's the nub of the problem. Uh, the Palestinians are whining losers. They build nothing, accomplish nothing, do nothing except complain and support terrorism. Israel works hard, makes the desert bloom, creates fantastic technology. Uh, it's, it's no match, really. It, it has defeated COVID faster than any other country on earth. What has happened at the hands of the Palestinians of any merit whatsoever? What do you ever hear of any accomplishments? The United Nations approved the creation of a Jewish state in 1947 with the partition plan, so they're not illegal invaders. And I have to say, much of the animosity toward Israel is rooted in anti-Semitism. Much of that derives from jealousy of the extraordinary ability of Jews throughout history to prosper economically and attain leadership positions in the sciences and professions and so forth. They should not have to be penalized for their extraordinary competence. Golda Meir was right then, she's right now, she said that the conflict will end when the enemies of Israel start loving their children more than they hate Israel. I think that sums it all up. That's the, that's the position for, for the yes people, that Israel is right. Okay, what about those who say, no, Israel is not right? Well, they start out by noting the fact that Israel is just brutal in its military attacks on the Palestinian population. It exploits its military superiority. People are killed, buildings, homes destroyed. Wait, what chance do they have? Uh, Israel perpetuates the conflict by this awful forcible expansion uh, by settlement in Palestinian territory in the West Bank. This, this, this violates international law. It, uh, that law forbids an occupying force from moving its citizens into occupied territory. And, Many of those half a million or so settlers, they're just looking for cheap housing. They have no right to be there. They are lawless invaders. Uh, the Palestinians who live there are constrained by Israeli checkpoints, 20-foot walls, subject to Israeli military justice. They have no control over their daily lives. How can they live decent lives? Israel is an invader, a territorial interloper, a colonist without valid justification other than biblical mythology. You know, our homeland promised us by Jehovah and all that sort of stuff. Uh, Isaac Deutscher, a Jewish Polish journalist and activist has called, this is a Jewish man now, has called the Israelis the Prussians of the Middle East. Israel has become the last remaining colonial power of the 20th and 21st century. Well, I must say Israel only holds its land because of European guilt over the Holocaust and that wasn't the Palestinians' fault. So those are pretty strong arguments uh, to <laughs> say that uh, Israel is just not right. Well, okay, what's my take about it? Well, there's no question that Israel is a brutal and often violent nation. nation. And I find the forced settlement on the West Bank, I find that just indefensible. Perhaps with BB Netanyahu out of the way and new management coming in, maybe, maybe that'll change, uh, maybe not. <clears throat> Nonetheless, uh, reluctantly, I'm with the Yes Group. Everyone has the power to better themselves through hard work, inventiveness, and joining the competitive battle with the rest of the world. The Palestinians just don't do any of these things. It's time for them to grow up and stop blaming their figure, failures as a society on someone else. God helps those who help themselves. Sorry, that's just the way I feel. Anyway, uh, for those of you, perhaps not too many, who, who agree with me, uh, please give me a like, subscribe, uh, comment, uh, uh, 
notify and so forth and i'll see you at the next one thanks a lot bye bye